ever since he came from Australia with those three wins to start the season. He had a couple down in Mississippi as well in terms of going to victory lane. But since then, Tyler Herb has certainly struggled, and he was involved in this multi-car wreck down there in between turns three and four. Looks like Peyton Looney able, able to pull off, but let's see what happened down here. Peyton Looney, fast qualifier last year for the show. We won her, made the show, and uh, just oh. got in her and just lost it. And Tyler Herb, he tore on both sides of the car, the right and the left side. He went to the pit area there. Let's watch this again. We'll take a look at, at Looney just kind of loops it a little bit right there. Crazy, a big hit there from Tyler Herb. And then Greedy in the 43 comes in there, just pummels the side of the 91. One more look at this one on the Jumbotron. And then home live on Matt TV. Looney spins it and then collects a couple of cars after that. Get a bump down there and just lost control of it as he bounced through. So there'll be a complete restart. Look at Tyler Herb's car. He's banged up on both sides of that number 91 machine. So he quickly comes back out. Looks like he might have changed a tire. So he comes back out. Look at that thing. Wow. It's banged up, battered, and bruised. Remember, this is almost like Jimmy Owens looked like last night in his heat race. He got that beat up pretty good and came back to win the A main. And Mike Marler the night before. Uh, really banged up. Uh, early in the day and they came back to finish in the top five. Well, Mike Marble on Thursday night knocked the deck off of it, just corner tables. He said, you go back to the pitter in the pitter and they walked away and quit. He said, I'd have hot back. <laughs> I said, send them to the hot dog stand, get them a hot dog cheeseburger and come on back. Maybe some cheese curds too. Yes, cheese curds. Don't forget it. I thought Joey Moriarty, a great runner uh, last night, dominated as he was running in the top five of the feature but slowed and had to drop out. Yeah, he was looking good last night, really moving through the field and I uh, thought he might have a shot at the victory but unfortunately for him, I had some mechanical difficulties and, and uh, pulled off the racetrack. Folks, we love the feed that we're seeing on social media. There you see, I believe that's a put on, on the racetrack actually. But uh, join the conversation uh, and use the hashtag MAVTV. Tonight we are giving away 11 autographed hats. Scott Bloomquist, you know, a bunch of different drivers. Here's Jeff and he's watching some baseball, some NBA.
see that on the front there's some sponsors, so that's pretty good. Like the Colt Firearm is on that car. Yes, sir. Springfield uh, actually represented down here in the Midway at Lucas Oil Speedway. Went down there and uh, checked that out today uh, because there's so much to do for all the fans here. We speak about Brandon Shepard, uh, former Rookie of the Year, uh, here in the Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series last year. Champion trying to make his way into the Show Me 100. Right now, currently has that final transfer spot.
wanted to see, especially with one more shot to get in the A main with the, uh, the Midwest Sheet Metal Challenge here a little bit later on tonight. Tyler Herb, the youngster, has just got to be frustrated with this weekend. Uh, that, that car is just a mess right now. Uh, you know, he, he does so well, charges hard, gets himself into some trouble sometimes, but that kid, just 21 years old, is part of the future of dirt late model racing. Well, I don't care how good of a driver you are, and he's a very good driver, a young up-and-coming talent, 21 years old. But he would be probably the first to tell you, when I start in the back, things like that are going to happen because you're back there with a, some inexperienced drivers and such, but he has no corner not bent on that car. How about this Mason Oberheimer, the 25-year-old out of Missouri, uh, rocket chassis, Oberheimer trucking, Scott Bailey racing engine. Right now, he's in a look at his restart. Richard O'Neill and Lane again. 